uh, Robert, you have to understand, this is what we're, we are insisting on, that the show business is keeping the TV landscape going, which is a big hologram for those that want to think there's some public space out there, and they'll just keep the information going. And then there's the typing aspect of the chip body, and that's all that keeps it going, but, but this is shrunk. We can now connect with each other. I don't know what we're going to say to each other, what we're going to do, but... Uh, you know, it's like a colossal barter system happening now. And, uh... Well, this is, a, this is the thing I think I like about listening to the radio, which you've really got me onto through all your kind of um, things, is, is this thing of, like, um, and I'm learning about it at the moment through persuading people, and it's about the rhetorical and the ethos and the pathos and the logos. But, you know, from reading how people speak through the rhetorical, it's not just about the words and the text. Let me be blunt. And, and I know Marshall McLuhan covered all the print and press stuff. It's about the pauses and it's about the silences. It's about the neurolinguistics that are going on within the text. So when you say that um, the print and press is now obsolete and the TV is just full of jargon, it is definitely something going on within the radio because why else would I be listening to every single show of yours and ten other people since I started doing it? It's good. It's very, very effective, and it helps the brain. It's helped my memory no end. The problem is, I'm stuck on the chip landscape. <laughs> and one's like, where am I? My mobile phone's off the hook. It's ringing, it's ringing, it's ringing. But, like, no one's actually seeing me. And when they do, it's, it can be quite difficult for me to do that. And I know that you've, you, um, James, you asked. Um, Buzz, you want to know about the phone situation in Beijing last week. And it is so fascinating the way how quickly it takes over and how quickly things begin to change, you know. Hey, listen, I in Los Angeles here. There, there, there's been multiple uh, issues now that have showed up in local news with people that are getting almost every single day car accidents because they're using their mobile devices and texting. And texting now, for some reason, is, is more uh, seductive than communicating because nobody wants to talk to anybody anyway. So oh, yeah, they'll just text that. it, and whatever they text it is not even really in English. So people are crashing their cars. It's on the highways. All the accidents we hear. It, I almost hear it every single day now. Well, the interdependence there, James, which I haven't heard you guys mention, but it's just come to my consciousness now because I'm not a clever person. But I just have visions of my father was over last week, but he came over a couple of years ago. And um, I got the same photograph of as you, Bob, you know, where you come in on a Tottenham Hail at the train station. You must be an expert. Okay. Oh, and I got exactly the same position in the same photograph. But anyway, my father, we were going to my brother's wedding party. It was before he got married. It was an engagement party. It was about two years ago. And my father in the car got lost. And he had he had a sat-nav. And he was talking to the sat-nav. And the sat-nav was bleeping. It was moving around. He kept messing with it. And he got lost. I got out. I went to see my friend who lived in the same town. Um, I got a taxi to the place. So I was with a girl, went to a fair for about two hours, and then went to where the hook was in a taxi, which cost me about ten quid. And um, my father still wasn't there because he was still lost and he was still messing about with the... Um, uh, no. I think okay, it's Robert, you're, like, you're doing great keeping the fatic yeah. communication going. The fatic, what, you're addicted to the fatic. It, it is an act of courage to withdraw from the chip landscape, your chip body, actually walk up and figure out what to say to someone next door without getting punched in the face. This is the, the, the dramatic revolution, is to attempt, like two cavemen, to meet. That's the thing. You're, the chip body is good. You keep talking, keep uh, typing and all that, making your videos. That's uh, that you're juggling it. But the big heroic act today is actually establish contact with somebody. <laughs> <laughs> that is for sure. It Everything you desire upon this planet and never have received will be yours in outer space. <laughs>